Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And I'm good evening to all of you. So today we go for the uh, tutorial part. It's the last topic. But I think this is will be covered for uh, chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4. Alright. So actually we have uh, around 18 questions. But this one, okay, question number 1, question number 2, number 3, 4, 5, and 6 is the uh, more is the uh, theoretical, eh? theoretical. This one you can refer to the notes. Eh? Refer to the notes. For example, we go one by one. All right. So draw the logic, uh, logic circuit, uh, logic symbols, and two table for name gate dash. Okay, name gate dash is a s s bar r bar dash. Eh? For no uh, no gate dash is the s r dash. Okay. So this is uh, the uh, the latch is the name of the latch lah. So name is the S bar uh, R bar latch and no is the uh, is the S R uh, latch. Okay, and another one is the D latch. Okay, so this one is a uh, you can refer to the notes lah. Okay, because of this is the topic lah. So you have to know how to uh, draw the logic circuit for the name get latch and. Uh, for the no get latch and did latch okay so and the symbol okay logic symbols and the true table lah. okay so this one after if you uh, know the true table for every latch for example like uh name gate okay latch and uh, no get latch and did get latch you can also get the true table lah. and also you can explain the operation lah. the operation on the uh, name gate for example okay example for name gate okay if uh, next is the input combination as follows. For example, like uh, if set is a zero, uh, reset is a one. What is the output? Okay, what is the operation? Either it's a set or either it's a reset or either it's the uh, toggle or either it's the embedding. Okay, that is the based on the true table uh, here, All right? And then if for example second uh, B is the if set and reset is a zero what happened to the operation ah? it was happened to the output okay so based on maybe i will share some example for the uh, for the name okay all right so this is a uh, okay logic circuit eh? so this one is the logic circuit for s okay so this is nine eh? it's the name get edge okay s bar r bar next okay so this is the logic circuit eh? this is logic circuit for uh name eh? name get latch and then this is a symbol eh? this is logic symbols okay so you have to remember so we have a bubble here all right okay so the symbol here we have the active low here active low here and then we have the q eh? and then this is a Q bar lah, right? Will be invert there. Q the output. Okay. So this one, eh, from based on these two table, we know. For example, if a zero zero, so what happened? Okay. What is the operation? Is the invalid condition lah, invalid condition. And then if uh, set is zero, reset is one, so will be let will be set lah. Okay, will be set. So that is the operation lah, the operation eh. So that is the the operation of the uh, name gates. Okay. Similar like question number number three. Eh? Question number three explain the operation of no gate latch if the input combination as follows. Okay, if set one, uh, set is one, if set is zero, what happened? What is the operation ah, for the Q? Eh? Okay, and then if set and reset is a zero, okay, what is the output? Ah? Okay, what is the operation? And uh, set and reset is one, so what happened? Okay, so uh, this one you can refer to the to the notes ah. okay so this one is a mostly is a theoretical eh? yeah. okay it's a theoretical so this one ah. okay this is uh, for example like uh, our okay our uh, we call it as the no ah. no or sometimes we call it sr latch eh? sr latch this one uh, name is the s bar r bar Okay, so this one the operation for example if set one, okay, uh, reset zero, so the operation is the set. Okay, well, next is a zero zero. Okay, zero zero is a no change, huh? so will be remain uh, on follows the 
previous state uh, follows the previous state. If zero zero lah, uh, if one one lah, uh, you follow the previous. Eh? So there is no change happen. Uh. Okay, no uh, no operation uh, No no change happen in the operation. If set and reset is one, set and reset is one. So invalid, we call it invalid operation uh. Okay, this is a uh, invalid condition. <coughs> right. So this is a uh, question number one until question number three lah. Uh, based on this. Uh, Okay, this on this uh, notes, eh? you can refer to the notes, eh? right? So this is a logic circuit. Okay, this is logic circuit for S. Uh, no, oh sorry, this net is the S bar R bar net. Okay, this is a symbol. Alright, this is symbol. Okay, and then this is true table lah, similar like this one. Eh? So the different is you can see this this one uh, S R or no or then get is the uh, bubble here. Eh? Okay, the bubble here and then the component lah. so this is you use the no and this is you use name gate lah, right we have two name gate and then this, this one we have two no gate lah. then this is operation lah. all right so next question number four what is the difference between the d latch and d flip top so this this one we, we, we can uh, do the comparison lah. So comparison between the latch and flip tops What's uh, what's the latch and what's the flip flop? I think it's almost similar, but the, the concept almost similar, but they have some uh, difference, uh, different in the uh, latch and flip flops. Okay. Okay. For example, okay, this one also you can refer to the uh, the notes. So, okay, the the answer is a uh, D latch is controlled by gate signal. Okay. While the D flip flop uh, is controlled by clock uh, based on clock okay so that is different number one eh? so different number one d latch latch controlled by signal gate okay based on input and then for d flip clock based on the clock uh, okay by the clock right so that is the different number one okay number two the d latch is level triggered operation means the output waveform change during the during gate signal is high Okay, so that is for latch, okay, and then for the flip flops, okay, D flip flop is edge trigger operation means the output waveform change on rising or falling edge of the clock also. Okay, the flip flop depends on the on the clock right? either there is a positive edge trigger or negative edge trigger. Eh? Okay, so suppose you are a member, lah, okay, positive edge trigger. So this is for example, this is our clock. Okay, so hopefully you all remember this one. This is our clock. Okay, so this one we call the positive edge trigger or rising. This one will be falling. Okay, so this one refer to this one. Lah. Okay, so either you refer to the uh, positive edge trigger, this one positive edge trigger, this one will be negative edge trigger. Eh? So this one, if I refer to the positive, so this one will be refer to the positive. Lah. Okay, and then if your uh, your left or your flip flop refer to the negative, so you have to refer to the negative H figure or falling, eh, falling uh, H figure, right? Something like this. This is called a negative, eh, negative H figure, positive H figure here. Okay, so that is the difference, uh, the difference uh, between uh, latch and flip flop, eh, for D latch and uh, D flip flop, eh. Okay, so next is the describe the difference between the synchronous and the synchronous input. Okay, so this one also you can refer to the notes lah. Alright, so what is the difference between the synchronous and the asynchronous input? Okay, for asynchronous input, the flip flop within the counter do not change state at uh, exactly the same time. Okay, and then second is the do not have a common pause. Uh, common clock pass lah. so uh, so the asynchronous do not depends on the clock okay so the flip flop within the counter do not change state at exactly at the same time lah. Uh, if that we call the asynchronous or do not have a common uh, clock pass okay that is for asynchronous for synchronous input all the flip flop in the counter are clocked at the same time by common uh, clock pass okay that for synchronous, we have referred to the clock. Uh, 
we have referred to the false plot false. So that is the difference between the synchronous and the synchronous inputs. Okay. And then question number six. Okay, question number six. How sequential circuit different from conventional uh, logic gate circuits? Okay, so this one also the theoretical. Okay, also a theoretical. So okay, so this one the okay, the number six is the for conventional. Okay, for the conventional logic gate is the uh, output depends only the inputs. Okay. And this is different between the conventional and the sequential. Lah. So on the uh, conventional, the output is not uh, depends on the inputs. Okay, output depends on the input. Uh, that means we, we don't have any memory. Lah. Okay, we don't have any memory and uh, cannot store uh, state. Okay, cannot store state. Lah. That is for the conventional logic circuit. And then for sequential, Sequential is the output depends on the input and pass behavior like that. Means uh, it have the feedback lah. Have the feedback. That means we have the memory. Okay, we have the memory. And also the sequential required use of uh, of the storage element lah. So we have the memory. That means we have the storage element. Eh? Okay. So this is the question number uh, six. Okay. Question number one. And this will be on theoretical. I think I refer to the. Uh, to the notes okay so question next we go for the uh, question number seven okay question number seven uh, okay i copy anti question number So next we go for the question number okay number seven and number six okay so this one also you have to refer to the uh true table lah. true table lah, the operation of the uh main eh? main uh next or okay this one so you can uh, see this one is the uh, if the s bar and r bar were formed in the figure 5.1 okay and then uh, apply to the input of the latch in the figure, okay, 5.1, okay, 5.1D. Okay, determine the waveform will be uh, will be observed on the Q, lah. so on the Q, okay, the output, lah. assume uh, that the Q initially is zero, that means the Q initial is a zero, lah. okay, it's low, low, that means it okay, will be starting with the zero, lah. Okay, this one, okay, so that we yeah, will share before this, so, okay, if you have a table here, okay, we go for the name, okay, so this one is table, okay, we have this table, alright, so, from this table, we can get the, uh, the output Q, alright, for example, the first 0, 0, eh? 0, 0 is not in your condition, okay, and then next is 1, 1, eh? 1, 1, no change, will be 0, okay, starting here will be 0, no change will be 0, okay, until this one, 0, 1, 0, 1, eh? so, so this one, uh, okay, this one, 1, 1, 1, 1 is a invalid, okay, invalid, alright, so initial is a low, so we will be written low, so this one will be 0, 1, okay, 0, 1, S, 0, uh, 0, 1, so we set, set will be 1, okay, this one will be 1, okay, so until this one, uh, until this one, okay, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, no change, okay, so will be no change until this one, uh, no change okay will be no change all right so this one will be uh, one so will be zero okay as one zero so will be reset so this one will be reset lah okay will be reset so will be reset will be zero lah okay until this one until this one okay one 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 what happened no change so no change will be uh, zero lah 
follow the previous eh? previous zero so until this one lah until this one okay r1 s0 r1 s0 is the set set will be one lah okay will be one and then can continue lah okay normally it's a base on this one lah, to get the output okay output q lah and then for q bar will be invert the invert the uh, invert the input lah invert the sorry invert the output lah uh, invert the q Alright, so maybe I will, I will share the, uh, the the okay the answer okay the answer for the question number okay question number seven so this is uh, the answer you can put this one eh so one okay one zero one zero okay this one eh alright so this is the question number uh, number seven okay and then question number eight will be determine the q output waveform if the input as shown in 5.2 are applied to the gate sr latch sr latch that means we use the okay we use the no gate lah. okay this one we use the no gate okay no gate latch okay so that initially reset lah. okay that means initially reset as it will be zero okay so similar like uh, share before this uh, based on the truth table okay so that's why you have to uh, you have to know lah. okay the truth table for okay this is some example All right so this is uh, the operation okay so starting here All right so maybe i will share the answer eh? answer for the question number it's okay that you can refer lah. Okay, you have to double check. Is it okay? Is it the, uh, the answer is correct or not? Okay. Alright, so this is the uh, same. Alright, so this one will be uh, because this one we have the uh, we have the enable. Eh? We have the enables. This means we can enable active. Then we can uh, the the output will be uh, active lah. So that is the enable. Eh? So that's why you have to refer. For example, here, eh? so the label active here. Okay, then you can refer what is the output for uh, 0, 1. Okay, 0, 1. S1, 0, 1. So we set, set, that's why we got 1. Then it continues until we go for the next enable. Uh, okay, active. So here, lah. right here. Eh? So that's why here, okay. then we can uh, require 1, 0. Okay. R1 as 0. R1 as 0 is a reset. So reset will be 0. Okay, 0 until the next uh, interval is active here. Active here. Okay, so active here. So the R will be uh, 0 as we want. So reset. Okay, until this one. Lah. Because uh, still, eh, uh, interval is still active here. Okay, so that's why until this one, we have to uh, follow we have to refer to the input lah. So, uh, 1, R1, reset 1, S0. So, that's mean will be reset. Okay, will be 0. Until, still, first, still enable, it's active here. So, we have to refer lah, 0, 1. So, will be 1 lah, will be set. Okay, will be set. Alright. So, that is the answer for the question number 8 lah. Alright. Next, we go for the question number. Okay, question number nine. Okay, question number nine until uh, until eleven. Eh? Question number nine until eleven. Okay, so this is question number nine. Okay, so this is just copy paste. So the 9, 10, 11. Eh? Alright, so for example, uh, question number 9, determine the Q output waveform if the input shown in the video 5.3 uh, apply to the gate T latch. Okay, so uh, which is initially reset. So this one also, I think uh, the criteria number 5 is uh, you have to refer to the uh, the, the latch and the the clock lah, the, the timetable, the, the two table, the logic circuit, the operation lah. Alright, so this one also already give the uh, 
the table eh, for the D, we use the D like okay, D. So, okay, for example here, this is for D match, okay. Okay, so you can see this one, D match, okay. So we have the enable, so when enable active, so we just follow the D, alright. So if D, okay, so that's why this one can be, okay, D is a, if enable is a zero here, okay. So you can see this for D match, okay. So when able, so either this one is a one or zero, if enable is not active, this means a zero, so no change, okay, no change here. The operation is no change, just follow the triggers. If enable is one, okay, D is a, zero so the output will be zero okay if the number is active that's mean one so d is one so output will be follow lah. so d is the uh, follow eh data lah will be follow the 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 input lah so will be one okay that is the operation lah. okay for example here will be all right so no change all right so until this one lah. no change is a reset lah, eh. initially it's a reset so until this one eh. until this one you can see Right here, so okay, so here, alright. So anti this one will be active, okay. So active will be this one here, and eh? the one okay will be until okay, this initial reset, okay, until the next here, eh? the enable is active, huh? active here. Yeah? So D is a zero here, okay, will be zero until next, eh? until the next here, okay, next here it will be this one, so be one until the next okay until the next uh, active right here okay active here so d will be uh, zero okay so until this one is zero okay so you can all right so this one will be uh one d is one okay one okay so will be one until this one uh, zero okay we will follow lah this this one will be follow okay so that is the for uh, the lecture okay so i will share the 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 answer for the question number naya that i will explain before this all right so this is the answer that i mentioned to you eh? all right so this one okay this is the part you have to remember lah Okay, I think uh, the initial stage is uh, easier here. So this one is uh, easier because of active. We have only one uh, one pause here, one pause here, one pause here. But this one we have uh, we have a continuous pause here and active. Eh? So that's why we have to uh, here. Eh? So this one every tick on the D we have to refer. Okay, this one because of enable is uh, continuously active here. All right, so that's why here we have the zero, one, zero, one, zero, and so on, so because the enable will be active, okay. But if this one, okay, for example, here, uh, on only until this part, okay, and and then will be active until the next, okay. This one is zero, if a zero, so no change, okay, no change. That's why this operation is no change, eh? because of the the the. the D is one or zero, so it will be no change. Huh? Okay, so it will be uh, either this one will be one or zero. Okay, for example, this one still be one. Huh? Okay, because of the previous at uh, this part. Okay, until this part will be one, so it will be follow the previous. Okay, so one huh? until next uh, enable is active here, and then this part we, uh, you can see here will be active uh, continuously. So that's why. For every this one, we have to refer to every state lah, every state on the D lah. For example, here, 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 here. Eh? For example, the next maybe uh, we should uh, small D here. Oh, sorry, uh, biggest D, small D. Okay, biggest D. Okay, that's why here we have to refer until this one. We have to refer this one. We have to refer this one. We have to refer this one. Okay. Right if. Uh, Hannibal is still active, huh? okay? For example, active. Okay, right. That is question number nine, and then question number uh, ten. Determine the Q and Q bar. So I think that we just follow, uh, just find, uh, find the the Q, and then automatically we know the Q bar. For example, here, uh, the Q bar will be invert the uh, Q. Uh, 
All right, so I think it's a uh, forward, eh? for example, for okay. Uh, so this is a few bar. The rest will be same. Lah. So everything uh, Q bar will be invert the Q. Okay. Question number 10, you have to find the Q and Q bar output waveform of the flip flop. Okay, so now we go for the flip flop. It's a flip flop. So uh, you have to record the, the notes and eh, the operation uh, for the SR and the clock input as a PPL 4.4. I think it's uh, 5.4. Eh? This one 5.4. Uh, okay, so assume the positive H trigger, flip flop initially is set up that so this case name will be zero. Okay, will be zero. Okay, and then we have to refer this one. We follow the this one, eh? The clock. The clock will be positive H trigger. Okay, because of no bubble if bubble here, so that means uh, we refer to the we refer to the negative H trigger. Okay, so I will just share the also for the question number. Okay, this is a question number ten. Right, you can refer this one. Eh? Okay, so right, so this one will be zero, one, okay, and then until the next okay, the next pause here. Okay, when the next okay, the first pause here, so you can see uh okay S Okay, this one also you have to refer the table lah. Okay, the table for the uh, fifth off. Okay, this one is zero and then this one is zero. This mean you have no, it's a zero lah. Okay, so no change. Okay, no change. We will follow the rest until the next. Okay, this one eh, until the first, the next positive H figure eh. So this why you have to refer lah. Okay, positive H figure, positive H figure because of no bubble here eh. So if you put bubble here, so we have to refer to the negative here eh? so activate on this part lah. for example if we can see this one the clock we have the bubble here so we have to refer to the negative is figure eh? so that you have to remember lah. okay that difference between the clock line right? for example for the flip flops if they have bubble here all right so that means we, uh, we refer to the negative is figure if you have the no bubble here so we refer to the positive is figure lah. right so this is the uh, the output for Q and then for Q bar we will be invert the uh, we will invert the uh, the Q lah. so that's the uh, Q bar I think it's a safer word lah. so this one just refer to the table lah. the true table for the uh, for the SR flip flop eh. similar like uh, D flip flop eh. D flip flop okay also uh, similar like like uh, D latch okay so this one also we have to refer to the uh, positive lah. okay refer to the positive H figure okay because of no bubble here all right so given the waveform 5.5 for the D input and the clocks okay determine the Q output waveform in if the flip flop start our start out reset lah. start with the uh, flip flop okay we reset is the zero lah. Okay. So this is a, uh, the answer for uh, this one. Eh? So this is the result. Lah. Okay, for example, this uh, you can see that mentioned to you. First, you have to refer the okay what type of the clock we use, and then refer to the next, refer to the uh, clock pulse. Okay, and then we refer to the positive H figure or negative H figure. This one we refer to the positive. Okay, that's why you have to put on the positive H figure. Lah. So we can put here, put here, put here. So that's why you can see. Uh, so the Q will be, uh, will be have uh, some uh, different angle, uh, different uh, output on the, on the uh, activate lah, the clock activate at the positive H trigger or the negative H trigger. If you use the uh, bubble here, so that's mean we have to refer to the negative H trigger lah, for example here. Okay. Alright, so this is our example. Lah. Okay, so this is the Q. Lah. So, and then uh, from this one, we, we can get the uh, Q bar. Okay, I think it's straightforward. Lah. For Q bar, it's a straightforward from the Q. Eh? So, this is question number 11. Okay, next. Question number. 
to the JK, okay, this JK three crops, uh, and the clocks input uh, indicated, okay, this one, this one, this one, JK, the input for, uh, okay, three crops, JK three crops, okay, they're already given here, determine the output, uh, the Q here, okay, the Q here, assuming the three crop initially is set, so this one also, uh, I think, all this one just, uh, you have to refer the table lah, the table for JK flip-flop, okay, the operation here. Eh? So the operation of the JK flip-flop lah. Okay, this, uh, I will show some, uh, the answer here. Alright, so, okay, that you can see this one. Uh, this one very important, okay. Uh, uh, this one, I like this one, okay. If you are first, you have to know lah, the operation of the JK. Alright, the no chain reset and reset and not toggle. Okay, but second, we have, we have to choose this one. It's the on the clock. And then you have to refer to the positive H figure or negative H figure. So this one automatically we refer to the negative H figure. That's why you can see the result here. So we refer to the negative. Or sometimes we call the falling H figure falling. Eh? So this one from 1 to 0. This one falling. Eh? So this one you can, uh, from the negative figure, you can. Uh, okay, you can plot here, plot here that mentioned to you okay, before this. So the the output of the JK flip-flop will be, uh, okay, the output for JK flip-flop will be uh, change, follow the, uh, follow the, uh, either the policy figure or the negative H figure where the, uh, the plot activate. Uh, so this one will be at the negative H figure uh, here, okay. So this one, uh, okay, initially reset, so it will be zero. Alright, so until this one, it will be 1, 1, okay, K, 1, 1, so what is the operation? It's a toggle, so you can refer to the notes, okay, so it's a toggle, that's why toggle will be 1, until this, until this one, okay, 1 here, until the next activate here, eh? so on the negative, it trigger. so 0, 0, okay, 0, 0, no change, so no change, we follow the previous, it's the 1, until the next here, Okay, so this one will be 0, 1, K, 1, J is 1, it's the reset lah, reset will be 0, until, so will be, next, okay, next here will be uh, 1, 0, so will be set lah, set, okay, so that's the answer for number 12, okay, and then the, uh, K, uh, for the Q bar will be invert there, Q lah, okay, so I just proceed for question number 13, I just keep the, Answer, we share the answer. So and then we have to double check is it is correct or not. Okay, and then like this one. Alright, so the first, okay, we have to know the operation of the uh, two clock. So similar like question number 12. And then second, we have to double check on the pulse, either we uh, where is the activate. So on the positive figure or negative H figure. So this one automatically we know will be uh, activate at the positive H figure, eh? positive H figure here. Okay, positive H trigger. Then you can refer to the operation of the. Okay, initially it's a zero because of this one reset. Eh, you reset is a zero. Okay, so the next step, zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero will be uh, zero. Okay, so no change. Until this one. Okay, until this one. Okay, to here. J is one, one. Okay, one, one will be one. Uh, Okay, so next will be, uh, this one will be 1, will be 0, will be toggle, okay, 0, until the next, okay, so and so on, okay, that, that's the operation, uh, the operation of the JK flip-flops, uh. so then like question number 14, okay, the 14, we have some different, we have the another one, so we call the, 
this one we have the clear and uh, preset eh? so clear and preset lah so when uh, you can see yeah so the preset which you can see here the symbol of preset and uh, clear here so it's a active low okay this one active low okay so this one active low lah so this means will be active at the low state lah so here will be active at the zero here okay this one will be active here and this one will be active clear will be active here okay right and then the the operation will be same okay so we refer to the dk we refer to the uh, dk operation then we refer to the clocks now we focus on the positive figure here okay. okay automatically we know so this is a uh, this one will be initially is a low eh? so say zero here yeah, that's why you can start zero and then will be preset okay because uh, a preset will be activated so that's why we got one here okay because of every uh, preset will be activated here it will be zero zero active low eh? so this one this one means active low it will be active at the lower at the low state like the active on the zero okay on the zero okay so until okay until this one okay until this one you can see uh, okay so the this one is the the this one will be uh, okay this one we have to refer to the uh, jk lah jk eh so for example here we focus on the uh, on the uh, on the jk lah so okay so that's why we can uh, refer to the output right the output of the jk right so that's why you can get the uh, actually this one we have to refer uh, we have to for example um, the output okay the output for jk Okay, actually we have we have this one we have the jk uh, we have the jk input output eh? until the next here eh? so this one uh, the operation will be toggle lah okay this one depends on the jk and then last one is the when the clear is activated yeah so because of active low eh? so this one activate okay this one will be clear clear all the 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 output lah okay so that is the question number 14 eh Right, so next we go for the uh, question number. Okay, this one question number for 15 to 16 is a uh, similar like this. We have to refer to the uh, okay, to the table. Okay, for example, okay, this one is the application of the flip-flop. Lah. Okay, so that's the the develop uh, develops the F waveform for the circuits in the in the circuit in the video 5.9 when the n q and sorry n h kilohertz square wave uh, wave input is applied to the clock input of the clock A right here so this is a uh, this is we call a frequency uh, application. Okay, this one, eh? the initial is the H, and then it's applied to the clock of the before A, then find the frequency all right, for the QB and QC, then state the function of this circuit. Eh? All right. And then QA is the uh, least significant bit, eh? least significant bit. Eh? So, this one is the we call the frequency divide, divider, right? the application of the flip-flops. Okay, so this one, eh? this is the, uh, the waveform, eh? the output waveform, eh? the output waveform for the uh, question number uh, 15. Alright, so and then this is the okay so this is a uh, frequency qb okay so will be uh, divided by four lah all right so this one you, you can see here 
So this one will be uh, this by two, okay, two, two, and then uh, another, okay, this one another four, and then this is eight, uh, okay, another eight, uh, this why for Q divided by four, eh? so this one eight, okay, this one will be eight uh, lowest, and then we have to divide by four, okay, you can see here we have four here, all right, so that's why we have to divide by four, for QB will be uh, two kilohertz, and then QA, all right, QA here lah, all right, so QA will be four kilohertz divided by two lah, all right, so this one divided by, okay, this one actually, so the, all right, so this one is the, uh, okay, the Q, a is the uh, okay divided by uh, by two lah okay uh, kilohertz divided by two is a four kilohertz okay this is question number uh, four uh, fifteen and then sixteen okay sixteen determine the output waveform in the relation to the clock for the QA QB and QC in the circle of the figure five point ten and show the binary sequence represented by this waveform lah. So, okay, so this is some example, eh? some example here. Alright, so we have to get the we have to get the output for QA, and then for QB, and then QC, and then what is the sequence? Eh? So this one, for example, this is a uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will be will be repeat again zero one two okay so this one we call this uh sequence sequence eh? so this is a uh, we refer this one so this is uh the counter actually it's a counter eh? uh, the sequence number one zero one two three four five six seven so one two three and seven zero and three seven zero and three so this is the counter eh? okay the 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 sequence of the counter okay so we be this is follow the sequence of zero uh, to seven and then repeat we repeat again okay uh, okay and the last okay the question number 17 okay the question number 17 okay the question number 17 here so the circle of figure uh, 5.11 contain the D latch, okay. So we have D latch and we have the positive H, uh, positive H trigger D P flops, okay. That means we have combination between the latch and P flops and negative H trigger D P flops. Uh. That means we have three, three, uh, okay, three difference. Okay, first we have the D latch, second we have the positive H trigger P flops, and then second. Third is that we have the negative H figure to flux. Okay, and then complete the timing diagram of the figure 511 by drawing the waveform of signal Y1. Okay, here, Y, sorry, this one, suppose uh, Y0. Okay, follow the, this one, eh? So this one, so Y0, Y1, Y2. Eh? Okay, so this one, Y0, Y1, Y2. And then, uh, initial is the set. Eh? Initial is the set, is the 1. Okay, I will say the okay, I will say the, the example here. Okay, so this is the result. Lah. Okay, the, the result you can check here, eh? Alright, so for example for X okay, given we have given the, the clock and the the output, okay, the input X and then you have to find the why not? Okay, this one. Okay, why not? Uh, okay, here the output for why not? One 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 zero 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 one one one. Okay, and then why one and why two here? Lah. Okay, but you have to see this one. Eh? Okay, so this one for why not? We follow the positive. Eh, sorry, this one is the negative here. Okay, at this point. Okay, this point. So we change the color. Eh? We change the color here. Okay, it will be for refer to the uh, negative H trigger, and then here we refer to the Y1, we refer to the positive H trigger. Y1, refer to positive H trigger. Okay, and then.
and then for the uh, okay for the apa, latch is the enable eh? enable now you just follow the this one will be uh, you can put here as the en lah enable so that okay this means activate at the this one eh? at the one here okay we will activate here okay right so that's the result lah for uh, y not y1 and y2 Okay, so the last question is a question number 18. Sorry, another one question. Another eh? one question, question number 18. Alright, so question number 18. The circle of uh, figure 5.12 contains the negative H figure. Okay, this one. Alright, uh, JK flip flops. And we have another one, it's the D flip flops. Okay, complete the timing diagram of the figure 5.12 by drawing the waveform of signal Q1, okay, Q1, and Q2. This one, sorry, yeah. so it will be, actually, this one is, is the K, uh, Q0 and Q1. Uh. All right, so this one equal to the Q0, Q1. Uh. So this one will be Q0 and Q1. And then, the free clock initially is set. Uh. So initially, it will be uh, reset. Okay, it will be zero. Uh. Initial will be zero. Eh. Initial will be reset, will be zero. Okay, so, yeah, first, we have to find the Q0. Okay, the keynote, but we have to refer the we have the uh, clear. Eh? So this one we have on clear lah. Okay, the same we can activate at this one lah, this point. Right, clear here. Okay, the rest will be follow the follow the previous lah. Okay, follow the 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 uh, the D eh? the JK we follow. Okay, so. Um, so Share the, the answer here. Okay, alright. So this one, eh? Let me show you. For Q0, eh? Q0 will be uh, clear here. So it will be clear here. Okay, it will be zero. And then this one will be uh, active at the JK will be active at the here. Yeah, will be active at the negative speaker. So this one, that's why you have to refer, uh, refer to the negative. Okay, so we will refer to the negative speaker uh, for Q1. Uh, sorry, Q0. Q0, eh? Q0. And also the, also the uh, D fibula, also we refer to the uh, Q. Uh, Q upper negative speaker. So we refer to the, that's why the Q1 also negative speaker. Negative speaker. Yes. <coughs> okay, so this is the answer for question number uh, number 18 all right so you have to double check lah if it uh the, this my answer is correct or not so you have to double check okay so you can for, uh, refer to my uh, my schema eh? my schema here all right so that's all for tutorial five okay all right so i think that's all for tutorial number five okay thank you very much okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh